Imagine a world where everyone has a quantum computer. A world where problems that used to take years or even centuries to solve can now be tackled in seconds. A world where scientific breakthroughs happen every day and new technologies are born faster than we can imagine. This is the world of the future, where quantum computing has transformed the way we live, work, and think. In this world, quantum computers are as ubiquitous as smartphones, and they're just as essential to our daily lives. From healthcare to transportation, from finance to entertainment, quantum computers are the backbone of our digital world. So come with us on a journey into the future and see what it's like to live in a world where quantum computing is king. Quantum computers are the stuff of science fiction, the kind of technology that seems too good to be true. But the truth is, quantum computers are real, and they're already here, in a very limited form. They represent a revolution in computing, with the potential to solve problems that are currently impossible for classical computers. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of quantum computers, and see how they work, what they can do, and what they mean for the future of technology. When we think of computers, we think of machines that work with bits, those tiny pieces of information that can only have two values, zero or one. But in the quantum world, things are different. In the quantum world, there are qubits, which can exist in a superposition of both states at the same time. This means that a qubit can be both zero and one simultaneously, giving it a tremendous amount of processing power. So what can quantum computers do with this processing power? Well, one example is solving mazes. Imagine you have a maze with many possible paths. A classical computer would have to try every possible path to find the way out, one after the other. However, a quantum computer could explore all the possible paths at once, thanks to the superposition of qubits. This would allow it to find the way out much faster than a classical computer. Another example is searching a database. Let's say you have a phone book with one million names in it, and you need to find a specific name. A classical computer would have to search through the entire phone book one name at a time until it finds the right one. This can take a long time. But a quantum computer could use Grover's algorithm to search the phone book much faster. It does this by preparing the qubits in a special way that allows it to eliminate large parts of the phone book that don't contain the name it's looking for. With Grover's algorithm, the quantum computer can search through one million names in only a few thousand iterations, which is exponentially faster than any classical algorithm. This makes it a powerful tool for searching large databases, which is important for many fields such as data analysis, finance, and scientific research. One incredible example of what a quantum computer could do is to solve a mathematical problem that is so complex that it would take billions of years for even the most powerful supercomputers to solve. This problem is known as the factoring problem, and it involves finding the prime factors of a large number. To give you an idea of how complex this problem is, consider a number that has 600 digits. If you wanted to find its prime factors using a normal computer, it would take billions of years, even if you use all the computing power available in the world today. But a quantum computer using an algorithm called Shor's algorithm could solve this problem in a matter of hours or days. Now, you might be wondering why anyone would want to factor such a large number in the first place. Well, it turns out that this problem is at the heart of many of the encryption algorithms that we use to protect our online information, such as RSA and ESEC. If a quantum computer could solve this problem quickly, it could break many of the encryption algorithms that we rely on today, potentially exposing our private information to hackers and cyber criminals. According to quantum physics, we deal with something called multiverse where a problem may have many or infinite probable solutions. For instance, you might be watching this video on your phone. In another universe, you might be watching this on your laptop. A quantum computer can perform in tasks and in parallel universes and arrive at the outcome. If a traditional computer does in calculations and in seconds, a quantum computer can perform in squared calculations in the same amount of time. You might remember EBM's Deep Blue was the first computer to defeat a world chess champion. Gary Kasparov, in 1997. The computer did so by examining 200 million possible moves per second, far from human brain ability. But if it was a quantum machine, it would have calculated 1 trillion moves per second, 
4 trillion moves in 2 seconds, and 9 trillion moves in 3 seconds. As we've seen, quantum computers have the potential to change the world as we know it, but they are still in their infancy. As researchers continue to make progress in developing this technology, we will likely see more and more applications of quantum computers in fields such as finance, logistics, material science, and more. But with great power comes great responsibility, and we must also consider the potential risks associated with quantum computers, such as their ability to break encryption and undermine security. As we move forward with this exciting technology, we must do so carefully and thoughtfully, with an eye towards both its promise and its potential pitfalls. I really hope you enjoyed this video and want to see more content from us. If you do, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you guys later.